Hey, what's up, guys? Listen, sit down. We have to ask ourselves, who is going to save who? is going to save Wendy. You guys, listen, we've been reporting on Wendy Williams for a while and things have just made reach critical mass. Her niece went on The View today. Her family is desperate to see what's going on. The picture that her niece painted, all I have to say is I'm really worried about Wendy. You know what? Scratch that. I'm not worried. I'm afraid for Wendy. The video that her niece made, her niece, who is a prominent newscaster in the Florida area, okay, she went on The View and she talked about what Wendy's exact situation is. The video is crazy. I am genuinely worried and afraid for Wendy, okay? The View fans were shocked after realizing why Wendy Williams' niece looked familiar. She looked familiar because she's a news anchor. People do not realize how prominent Wendy Williams' family is. They are doctors, they are news anchors, they are journalists, they are professionals. As much as the court has tried to play, uh, portray them as grifters trying to live off of Wendy, the truth of what her niece actually said is ridiculous. The family was completely, if you guys don't know, Wendy Williams had a guardian um appointed a temporary guardian, Sabrina Morrison, I believe is her name, appointed over her estate in April 2022. Since then, the family has had limited to no contact with Wendy. When the guardian was picked out, the court merely said these filings are secret. They would not pick her mother, which is Wendy's sister, they would not pick her brother. They would not pick even Wendy's son. No one was allowed to have any input on who the guardian was. They were not, Wendy's family was not even um, bought into the conversation of who would be the guardian. Wendy's family was not bought into the conversation about what, what the guardian would be. They were completely excluded. Completely excluded completely excluded from the process. At that time, it was unknown to everybody that Wendy was suffering from dementia. The guardian stepped in and completely cut off all contact from Wendy and her family. They were not, she was swept away to somewhere, a treatment facility. They are not allowed to call Wendy. They are not allowed to... Um, uh, uh, link up with Lindy. When they're not allowed, they are not allowed. Okay, they are not allowed to see Wendy. What's worse, they are not even allowed to know where Wendy resides. The court sanctioned this because, again, her family, the guardian, a stranger. That has no connection to the family, knows nothing about Wendy, will not include the family, and this is with the court's permission. You guys, Wendy, if you thought what happened to Britney Spears is bad, this is proof that whatever is going on with Wendy is a million times worse. A million times worse. How is this possible? The View co-host were flabbergasted. And all, not only that, Sonny of The View, what, Whoopi was like, how can this be? How was the family not consulted? How are you excluded? Why wasn't somebody in the family? Again, the courts and the papers and Shed Media and all those places, or whoever, Marna and Burry, whoever's in charge of the Wendy show before it went over, the production company, they all tried to paint her family, her son, everyone. As a bunch of grifters, you can't be trusted. Why would we do this? Wendy's not safe of her family. But yet Sabrina hired a whole team of people that she gets paid very well to keep Wendy in the conservatorship. And the whole team set up only get paid if they keep Wendy down. I'm going to call it right now. The Sabrina lady sounds like a handler. As she sounds like a handler that's doing um damage control.
This is even more concerning, okay? It points specifically, and this article that's in the Sun talks about the timing of the press release of Wendy's condition. Her niece was on The View and was really exposing this guardian, Sabrina. And the guardian got shook and decided to release info 15 minutes after that live interview that her niece did on The View. They actually said Whoopi's woes. At the end of that same episode, Alex appeared on. That's Alex's Whoopi's, uh, I'm sorry, Wendy's niece. Whoopi broke her silence about Wendy. While speaking to Alex during the episode, the views panelists did not focus on the diagnosis, likely as it had not been broken at the time. Whoopi looked into the camera to deliver the shocking news. We wanted to update you on some news that is just broke concerning Wendy Williams. And then later, and that's when she announced that Wendy has the uh, frontal temporal dementia. And then later that day, right, that same guardian filed a sealed lawsuit to try and stop that documentary from airing this weekend. The Guardian clearly has a lot to hide, but what makes it so odd is the Guardian was the one that signed off on the documentary. The Guardian was the one that let that documentary air, that let that documentary be made. Do you now see why Kevin Jr. literally volunteered to be in the documentary? It is literally the only contact or limited contact he's allowed to have of his mother and the only way he can truly get to what's going on. Also, the Daily Mail or the Sun leaked the Guardian's name. Again, if, if all that wasn't enough, after all this happened and everybody's like, yo, what is going on with Wendy? This is this goes beyond sounding like Britney Spears. This is the Britney Spears situation. How is it a stranger can be a can exclude your family completely, completely take over your finances, completely say that you have Alzheimer's and dementia and you are not fit to do anything even for tell your family they are not allowed to see you. You are not there not allowed to see where you are completely exclude you from everyone in your life surround you with a bunch of handlers that their only business is to be paid and spend your money, but still allow you to hire jewelers and regard and ridiculous things to represent you. So you look more crazy and loony and everybody that's the only people that are allowed to be around you are the people that are making money off of you. Those are the only people that are allowed to be around you. And the guardian, who no one knows, who the family was excluded from the situation, decides everything. And the, the documentary that the guardian signed off on, and Wendy truly, they've said that they've known since April 2023, um, Wendy had frontal temporal dementia. Why did the guardian let someone who can't, and also aphesia, I believe, where that means, anyway, go watch my old videos, I break it down, right? How did the Guardian let somebody that d cannot consent be involved in a documentary? And now that you don't like what the family's saying because the family is rising up and saying, we want our aunt, now you have so much to say, but it's not over. Because guess what just got posted? Wendy Williams breaks her silence on aphasia and dementia diagnosis. You mean Wendy Williams, the person that you say is so out of it and Looney Tunes that no one that is not being paid by her can come around? Anyone that truly comes around her because she loves her is not around? Y'all, I'm obsessed with the story because who does that stupid guardian think she's fooling? There is no way Wendy wrote this statement or even is aware it was sent out on her behalf. This is not even how Wendy Williams talks. And let's not forget that this is TMZ who also played a role in slandering w Wendy's name. Do you remember that every single time Wendy fought back against the Guardian, something embarrassing with Leak and TMZ aren't in the big papers? Remember when they leaked, Wendy Williams was doing lewd things on a work call three years ago, five years ago. This is disgusting what they're doing. It should be illegal. And like the ladies of The View said, how is this possible? Get this. 
Wendy Williams breaks the silence of the diagnosis, appreciates the love. This is the statement that Wendy, who's not well enough to be able to be in contact with any of her family, released. I want to say I have immense gratitude for the love and kind words I've received after sharing my diagnosis of aphasia and frontal temporal dementia. Let me say, wow, your response has been overwhelming. Wendy Williams doesn't even talk like this at all. We've grown up watching Wendy. She does not talk like this. Who the F is this Sabrina Morrison girl? Why was she named Guardian? She is a handler, I believe. Wendy is in danger. This is sad. In America, that's the thing. As long as you stay on that grind and that hamster wheel and let them use you and exploit you, but the minute you fall off, the minute you slip, that's what happens to you. You fall in between the cracks. This fake statement goes on to say, the messages shared with me have touched me, reminding me of the power of unity and the need for compassion. I hope that others with FTD may benefit from my story. I want to also thank the Association for Frontal Temporal Degeneration for the kind words of support and their extraordinary efforts to raise awareness on FTD. I continue to need personal space and peace to thrive. Please just know that your positivity and encouragement are deeply um your positivity are deeply appreciated. This fake Wendy statement came out to say, can you guys leave me alone? Y'all, listen. Listen. Let me tell y'all something. There is something wrong with Wendy. And I don't think it's mental anymore. I think she's being held against her will. I think just like Brittany, she's being doped up. The only time they let her out. Remember when they let her, they flew her to New York? Remember when they flew her to New York? And they wouldn't let anybody see her, but they had her out there walking around looking crazy, dragging liquor bottles from the store. They let her go around just enough to make a fool of herself so they could get this guardianship. Stephanie Brown, thank you, girl, for sending me this. She reminded me something. She said, Kevin Jr. had Wendy in Florida in 2022. Kevin said someone from New York kept calling her to come back to New York. This is when she was left in her apartment with no food and only liquor. Lifetime effed up and called the guardian instead of her family. Remember when Kevin Jr. went to New York and Wendy wouldn't let him in her apartment? That was the guardian blocking him so they could destroy Wendy. But listen, that documentary is going to air this weekend as scheduled. The New York court has rejected the guardian's pathetic attempt to block it. Y'all, everybody's talking trash about this documentary exploiting Wendy. What if that documentary is the only thing that's going to save her? Y'all, listen. The guardianship destroyed Wendy. Again, Wendy's family needs to get a, a GoFundMe to help with contesting her guardianship. And here's the thing. They've gone out their way to paint Wendy as this disgusting, her family as disgusting as this is that. Y'all, we need to help Wendy. We really need, her guardian is disgusting, messy. What is going on? What is going on? Let me know what you think in the comments. I'm going to be covering this for as long as I can. Because we're not letting this rest. Justice for Wendy. Let me know what y'all think in the comments. I will 100% talk to you guys later. All right. Prayers up for Wendy or anyone going through this situation. This mess ain't no joke.